Did you know that the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club, with its common nicknames HA, Red and White, HAMC, and 81, boasts an astonishing membership of 3,000 to 3,600 and has established 467 chapters in 59 countries. With such a vast reach, would you believe that the Hells Angels are not only one of the largest but also one of the most famous motorcycle clubs in the world? Hello everyone, how are you all? Today, we're diving deep into the world of the Hells Angels and uncovering 15 brutal rules that every member is bound to follow. Now, you might be wondering what makes these rules so brutal. Well, they are designed to maintain the club's hierarchy, discipline, and unwavering loyalty. So get ready to explore the intense world of the Hells Angels as we uncover 15 brutal rules that define their unique brotherhood. Number 1. Compulsory Motorcycle Ownership the requirement to purchase a Harley Davidson motorbike is one of the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club's core principles. Every member is required to own and keep a functional Harley Davidson as a sign of their dedication to the group and the biker's way of life. Discipline or expulsion may follow non-compliance. The Hells Angels attach enormous significance to the motorbike, since it stands for the club's primary ideals of freedom, revolt, and friendship. Members are encouraged to take pride in their bicycles keeping them well-maintained and customizing them to showcase their individuality and commitment. It is necessary to ride frequently, especially during club activities. Number 2. Loyalty Dell's Angels Motorcycle Club is built on an uncompromising dedication to loyalty. All other considerations, including those related to friends, family, and personal interests, are subordinated to the club and their brothers. This loyalty is a vital prerequisite for membership, and is shown by showing up to meetings, abiding by the rules, and supporting other members in good times and bad. Being loyal also means upholding the club's reputation and core principles while representing it with honesty and discretion. Because the Hells Angels view disloyalty as one of the gravest transgressions, it is severely punished. The club depends on loyalty to maintain its ferocious reputation and strong brotherly bonds. Number 3. No Drugs Policy the Hells Angels strictly prohibit narcotics for its members despite their well-known connections to drug trafficking and illegal behavior. Individual club members are not allowed to use hard narcotics like heroin, methamphetamine, or cocaine, despite the fact that the club has been associated with the drug trade. This policy is grounded in the idea that drug use might impair judgment, leaving users more prone to errors and perhaps endangering the club. Serious penalties such as fines, suspensions, or expulsion are imposed on violators. The Hells Angels promote discipline, self-control, loyalty, and trust within their brotherhood by upholding this guideline. Number 4. Mandatory Meetings and Events The Hells Angels Motorcycle Organization needs a large time commitment to join, to debate club issues, arrange activities, and reinforce the links of brothers. Mandatory. Meetings and events are organized. Club operations and communication are conducted mostly at weekly or bi-weekly church meetings. Attendance is important and missing class without a good excuse may result in penalties or other consequences. Members are also required to take part in several activities. Setting these meetings and activities as a priority indicates commitment and loyalty, adding to the club's infamous image and preserving its cohesion, discipline, and loyalty. Number 5. Biker Attire the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club is well known for its distinctive motorcycle garb, which acts as a physical expression of its principles and provides protection when riding. Members follow a strict dress code that upholds the club's identity and promotes cohesion. Bandanas, sunglasses, gloves, and leather jackets or vests with the club's patches, particularly the death head insignia, are frequently worn as part of the ensemble. Their tough aspect is further enhanced by emblems that are influenced by outlaw culture and skull and flame themes. Number 6. No women as full members. Women may be seen with Hells Angels members, but they are not permitted to join the organization as full members. A male-dominated group that places high importance on brotherhood and friendship is Hells Angels. Women are only permitted to join the club as old women who are romantically linked with a member or as associates. They have little influence on events and little authority to make decisions. With an emphasis on the exclusive brotherhood, allegiance, trust, and shared experiences among male members, the group limits women's roles to the social sphere, maintaining the emphasis on the male members and their dedication to the Hells Angels Brotherhood. Number 7. Financial Commitments 
Bell's Angels Motorcycle Group requires that prospective members meet specific financial obligations to support the club's operations, maintain the clubhouse, and maintain financial stability. Members are expected to fulfill these commitments. Monthly or yearly membership dues are collected and go towards general operational costs. Members can also make contributions to a fund for legal defense. In addition, members pay for the upkeep of their Harley Davidson bikes, as well as the expense of club apparel, which includes patches and insignia. The consequences of breaking these obligations include fines, suspension, or expulsion. Number 8. Secrecy and Silence The motorcycle club known as the Hells Angels is well known for its culture of secrecy, emphasizing silence to preserve its mystique and goals. Members follow rigorous rules on talking about club business and dealing with outsiders, keeping the inner workings of the group a secret, making it more difficult for outsiders to collect evidence. The Code of Silence forbids discussing club affairs or disclosing sensitive information to outsiders. Expulsion or physical retaliation is a possible outcome for violations. Privacy is further protected by counter-surveillance methods and limited technology use. Number 9. Prospecting Period Prospective Hells Angels Motorcycle Club members must go through a trial period known as prospecting before becoming official members. Prospects must prove their allegiance, commitment, and devotion to the club's stringent regulations throughout this trial period. The prospecting stage might be anywhere from a few months and a year or more. Prospects must attend all meetings and activities, complete responsibilities given to them, and demonstrate their dedication to the club's principles. To judge their dependability and commitment, they can also go through trials and tribulations. Number 10. Tattoos and Symbols The Hells Angels Motorcycle Club is well known for its recognizable tattoos and insignia, which serve as identification and a manifestation of club commitment. These marks serve to strengthen the sense of community among members by reflecting the club's principles and past. On shirts, vests, and motorbikes, the recognizable Death Head logo, a winged skull wearing a motorcycle helmet, is prominently featured. Members frequently have tattoos of club-related words and symbols. Unauthorized Hells Angels-related tattoos, however, may have serious repercussions. The club's identity and infamous reputation are mostly based on its tattoos and emblems. Number 11. Handling Club Business When conducting club business, the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club adheres to a stringent code of conduct that places a strong emphasis on maintaining law and order and resolving conflicts. The club's principles and interests must be upheld by members both inside and outside the organization. The club's deadly reputation is a result of its members' steadfast allegiance and their willingness to take on difficulties head-on. Taking care of club operations also includes handling finances, planning activities, and making sure that rules are followed. The Hells Angels keep their unity and infamous reputation by running their business effectively. Number 12. Strict Chain of Command a distinct hierarchy is necessary for order and stability in every organization. The Hells Angels have a clear chain of command, with positions including President, Vice President, Secretary, Treasurer, and Sergeant at Arms. This is done in a military style. Local leadership oversees each chapter and follows instructions from national and international authorities. Superiors must be respected and obeyed by all members. If this is not done, disciplinary measures, including expulsion, may be taken. The club's ruthless reputation is preserved through the hierarchical structure, which fosters discipline, effective decision-making, and a culture of loyalty and respect. Number 13. Restricted Use of Technology The Hells Angels Motorcycle Organization purposely limits technology use in the modern day to preserve privacy, security, and mystique. To prevent digital interception or leaks, members adhere to tight rules on communication and information exchange and prefer face-to-face -face interactions. Posting pictures or videos that show club events or other members is not encouraged. Secure messaging apps and other anti-surveillance methods, like encrypted gadgets, help to further protect privacy. These precautions protect confidentiality, bolster the club's mystique, and distinguish them from other organizations. Number 14. Clubhouse Rules and Regulations Every Hells Angels chapter has a clubhouse that acts as the main meeting spot and a representation of the organization's presence in a particular location. These clubhouses offer shelter for members to cultivate friendships and participate in club activities, going beyond simple gathering places. To keep the clubhouse in good order and respect, certain restrictions are enforced. Theft, dishonesty, violence or drug use are prohibited, among other things. 
The clubhouse must be respected and kept as a welcome and secure area for members. Outsiders cannot enter without a full member's company. Number 15. Consequences for Breaking Rules The Hells Angels Motorcycle Organization follows a rigid code of conduct that includes guidelines for loyalty, hierarchy, and secrecy. Depending on the offense and the member's prior behavior inside the club, those who break these regulations may suffer penalties like fines, suspension, expulsion, or even physical retaliation. Minor offenses may result in fines or a brief suspension, giving members a chance to make amends. Expulsion may result from serious offenses like betrayal or harming the club's reputation. Violence is a last resort, employed infrequently to uphold order and safeguard the club's interests. The club's stability, cohesion, and reputation are guaranteed by this code. If you like the video and think it will be useful to many people, click the like button to let YouTube know. Additionally, see more related content by subscribing to the channel.